The Imitation of Christ by Thomas a. Kempis Translated by the Reverend William Benham The Second Book Admonitions Concerning the Inner Life Chapter 11 Of the Fewness of Those Who Love the Cross of Jesus Jesus hath many lovers of his heavenly kingdom, but few bearers of his cross. He hath many seekers of comfort, but few of tribulation. He findeth many companions of his table, but few of his fasting. All desire to rejoice with him, few are willing to undergo anything for his sake. Many follow Jesus that they may eat of his loaves, but few that they may drink of the cup of his passion. Many are astonished at his miracles, few follow after the shame of his cross. Many love Jesus so long as no adversities happen to them. Many praise him and bless him so long as they receive any comforts from him. But if Jesus hide himself and withdraw from them a little while, they fall either into complaining or into too great dejection of mind. But they who love Jesus for Jesus' sake and not for any consolation of their own, bless him in all tribulation and anguish of heart as in the highest consolation. And if he should never give them consolation, Nevertheless, they would always praise him and always give him thanks. O oh, what power hath the pure love of Jesus, unmixed with any gain or love of self? Should not all they be called mercenary, who are always seeking consolations? Do they not prove themselves lovers of self more than of Christ, who are always seeking their own gain and advantage? Where should be found one who is willing to serve God altogether for naught? Rarely is any one found so spiritual as to be stripped of all selfish thoughts. For who shall find a man truly poor in spirit and free of all created things? His value is from afar, yea, from the ends of the earth. A man may give away all his goods, yet that is nothing, and if he do many deeds of penitence, yet that is a small thing, and though he understand all knowledge, yet that is afar off. And if he have great virtue and zealous devotion, yet much is lacking unto him, yea, one thing which is the most necessary to him of all, What is this then? That having given up all things besides, he give up himself, and go forth from himself utterly, and retain nothing of self-love. And having done all things which he knoweth to be his duty to do, that he feel that he hath done nothing. Let him not reckon that much which might be much esteemed, but let him pronounce himself to be in truth an unprofitable servant, as the truth himself saith. When ye have done all things that are commanded you, say, We are unprofitable servants. Luke 17 verse 10 Then may he be truly poor and naked in spirit, and be able to say with the prophet, As for me, I am poor and needy. Psalm 25, verse 16. Nevertheless, no man is richer than he, no man stronger, no man freer. For he knoweth both how to give up himself and all things, and how to be lowly in his own eyes. Chapter 12 Of the Royal Way of the Holy Cross that seemeth a hard saying to many, If any man will come after me, 
let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Matthew 16, verse 24 But it will be much harder to hear that last sentence, Depart from me, ye wicked, into eternal fire. Matthew 25, verse 41 For they who now willingly hear the word of the cross and follow it, shall not then fear the hearing of eternal damnation. This sign of the cross shall be in heaven when the Lord cometh to judgment. Then all servants of the cross who in life have conformed themselves to the crucified shall draw nigh unto Christ the judge with great boldness. Why fearest thou then to take up the cross which leadeth to a kingdom. In the cross is health, in the cross is life, in the cross is protection from enemies, in the cross is heavenly sweetness, in the cross strength of mind, in the cross joy of the spirit, in the cross the height of virtue, in the cross the perfection of holiness. There is no health of the soul, no hope of eternal life, save in the cross. Take up therefore thy cross and follow Jesus, and thou shalt go into eternal life. He went before thee bearing his cross, and died for thee upon the cross, that thou also mayest bear thy cross, and mayest love to be crucified upon it. For if thou be dead with him, thou shalt also live with him. And if thou be a partaker of his sufferings, thou shalt also be of his glory. Behold, everything dependeth upon the cross, and everything lieth in dying. There is none other way unto life, and to true inward peace, except the way of the holy cross and of daily mortification. Go where thou wilt, seek whatsoever thou wilt, and thou shalt find no higher way above, nor safer way below, than the way of the Holy Cross. Dispose and order all things according to thine own will and judgment, and thou shalt ever find something to suffer, either willingly or unwillingly and thus thou shalt ever find thy cross. For thou shalt either feel pain of body, or tribulation of spirit within thy soul. Sometimes thou wilt be forsaken of God, sometimes thou wilt be tried by thy neighbour, and which is more, thou wilt often be wearisome to thyself, and still Thou canst not be delivered nor eased by any remedy or consolation, but must bear so long as God will. For God will have thee learn to suffer tribulation without consolation, and to submit thyself fully to it, and by tribulation be made more humble. No man understandeth the passion of Christ in his heart so well as he who hath had somewhat of the like suffering himself. The cross, therefore, is always ready, and everywhere waiteth for thee. Thou canst not flee from it whithersoever thou hurriest, for whithersoever thou comest, thou bearest thyself with thee, and shalt ever find thyself. Turn thee above, turn thee below, Turn thee without, turn thee within, and in them all thou shalt find the cross. And needful is it that thou everywhere possess patience, if thou wilt have eternal peace, and gain the everlasting crown. If thou willingly bear the cross, it will bear thee, and will bring thee to the end which thou seekest even where there shall be the end of suffering, though it shall not be here. If thou bear it unwillingly, 
thou makest a burden for thyself, and greatly increaseth thy load, and yet thou must bear it. If thou cast away one cross, without doubt thou shalt find another, and perchance a heavier. Thinkest thou to escape what no mortal hath been able to avoid? Which of the saints in the world hath been without the cross and tribulation? For not even Jesus Christ our Lord was one hour without the anguish of his passion, so long as he lived. It behooved, he said, Christ, to suffer and to rise from the dead, and so enter into his glory. Luke 24, verse 46 And how dost thou seek another way than this royal way, which is the way of the Holy Cross? The whole life of Christ was a cross and martyrdom, and dost thou seek for thyself rest and joy? Thou art wrong, thou art wrong, if thou seekest aught but to suffer tribulations, for this whole mortal life is full of miseries, and set round with crosses. And the higher a man hath advanced in the spirit, the heavier crosses he will often find, because the sorrow of his banishment increaseth with the strength of his love. But yet the man who is thus in so many wise afflicted is not without refreshment of consolation, because he feeleth abundant fruit to be growing within him out of the bearing of his cross. For whilst he willingly submitteth himself to it, every burden of tribulation is turned into an assurance of divine comfort and the more the flesh is wasted by affliction, the more is the spirit strengthened mightily by inward grace. And oft times, so greatly is he comforted by the desire for tribulation and adversity, through love of conformity to the cross of Christ, that he would not be without sorrow and tribulation, for he believeth that he shall be the more acceptable to God, the more and the heavier burdens he is able to bear for his sake. This is not the virtue of men, but the grace of Christ, which hath such power and energy in the weak flesh, that what it naturally hateth and fleeth from, this it draweth to and loveth through fervour of spirit. It is not in the nature of man to bear the cross, to love the cross, to keep under the body and to bring it into subjection, to fly from honours, to bear reproaches meekly, to despise self and desire to be despised, to bear all adversities and losses, and to desire no prosperity in this world. If thou lookest to thyself, thou wilt of thyself be able to do none of this. But if thou trustest in the Lord, endurance shall be given thee from heaven, and the world and the flesh shall be subject to thy command. Yea, thou shalt not even fear thine adversary the devil, if thou be armed with faith and signed with the cross of Christ. Set thyself therefore like a good and faithful servant of Christ, to the manful bearing of the cross of thy Lord, who out of love was crucified for thee. Prepare thyself for bearing many adversities and manifold troubles in this wretched life, because so it shall be with thee wheresoever thou art, and so in very deed thou shalt find it wherever thou hide thyself. This it must be, and there is no means of escaping from tribulation and sorrow, except to bear them patiently. Drink thou lovingly thy Lord's cup, if thou desirest to be his friend, and to have thy lot with him. 
Leave consolations to God. Let him do as seemeth best to him concerning them. But do thou set thyself to endure tribulations, and reckon them the best consolations. For the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Romans 8 verse 18 Nor would they be, even if thou wert to endure them all. When thou hast come to this, that tribulation is sweet and pleasant to thee for Christ's sake, then reckon that it is well with thee, because thou hast found paradise on earth. So long as it is hard for thee to suffer, and thou desirest to escape, so long it will not be well with thee, and tribulations will follow thee everywhere. If thou settest thyself to that thou oughtest, namely to suffer and to die, it shall soon go better with thee, and thou shalt find peace. Though thou shouldest be caught up with Paul unto the third heaven, 2 Corinthians 12, verse 2, thou art not on that account secure from suffering evil. I will show him, saith Jesus, what great things he must suffer for my name's sake. Acts 9, verse 16. It remaineth therefore to thee to suffer, if thou wilt love Jesus and serve him continually. O oh, that thou wert worthy to suffer something for the name of Jesus, how great glory should await thee! What rejoicing among all the saints of God! What bright example also to thy neighbour! For all men commend patience, although few will be willing to practise it. Thou oughtest surely to suffer a little for Christ, when many suffer heavier things for the world. Know thou of a surety that thou oughtest to lead the life of a dying man, and the more a man dieth to himself, the more he beginneth to live towards God. None is fit for the understanding of heavenly things unless he hath submitted himself to bearing adversities for Christ. Nothing more acceptable to God, nothing more healthful for thyself in the world, than to suffer willingly for Christ. And if it were thine to choose, thou oughtest rather to wish to suffer adversities for Christ, than to be refreshed with manifold consolations, for thou wouldest be more like Christ and more conformed to all saints. For our worthiness and growth in grace lieth not in many delights and consolations, but rather in bearing many troubles and adversities. If indeed there had been anything better and more profitable to the health of men than to suffer, Christ would surely have shown it by word and example. For both the disciples who followed him and all who desire to follow him, he plainly exhorteth to bear their cross and saith, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Luke 9 verse 23 so now that we have thoroughly read and studied all things, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. We must through much tribulation enter into the kingdom of God. Acts 14 verse 21 End of the Second Book